How big is this one going to be? Alright, so um, the outside uh, dimensions on this box are going to be 21 by 17. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this. This is the way that I choose to do it. Um, so the, the outside dimension is going to be 17 by 21. So what you need to do is figure out what the inside dimension is going to be. So the the board is an inch and a half thick, so two walls equals three inches. So I subtract three inches from the outside dimension, and it gives me 14 inches. And you have to add two and five eighths inches to that. So that's my first one. Why do you add the two and five eighths? The two and five eighths is to um, is is to uh, take up for the difference between the insulation that you're taking out to make your foam. Okay. So. And that's just thing. on the first cut? I'm sorry. The two and five eighths, that's just on the first cut? You do the two and five eighths. Um, so first of all, you, you subtract three inches from your outside dimension on each one of your cuts. And then you add two and five eighths on your first uh, three cuts. And your last cut, you add two and three quarters. Okay. So the first cut is our 17 inch side. So the, the next cut, the next mark needs to be 21 minus three inches, which is 18, plus two and five inches, which is 20 and five inches. That'll be our second cut. The third cut needs to be the same as the first cut. A lot of stuff to remember, huh? Absolutely. So a lot of people like to use this as their measuring device. I personally choose not to because I find it takes a little bit more accurate. that I made on, on the duckboard with the center line that's on my tool here. And I used the square as a square to make the first cut. The first cut's the red tool? Yes sir, the first cut, the second cut, and the third cut will be the, we'll use the red tool. Just try to even pressure all the way down. So the last cut's a little bit different. We use this glue tool here and it cuts two different grooves in the in the duckboard to allow 
material enough to attach the two pieces together when you fold it up. That's the shiplap? Yes, sir. This is the shiplap tool. Same thing, you line the Same thing, you the line up the piece. center mark with your mark on the duckboard. And you want to put even pressure. You know, you don't want to hold the tool like this. Or you know, backwards, you want to try to put even pressure all the way across the tool as you're using it. So it doesn't tear the other side of the duck. tool makes a cuts the two pieces a little bit different depths so you can have that shiplap fold. Okay, so now we just want to trim off the extra duckboard here. Uh, green duck board knives. Yeah, have you seen those? I have not, sir. Oh, they're they're nice. They got like a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the little with the wooden green handle. Wooden green yeah, handle. Awesome. And they got the the flattened end. Yeah, they work well for for getting the extra insulation off of there. So. <clears throat> and now it'll just fold right up. And I like to bend them a little bit past, you know, their full point, that way they fold up a little bit easier. It's probably not necessary. Just makes it a little bit easier. 